Hi everybody, I'm FM Greeno and welcome along to episode 40 of the Greeno Tour. This is my FM21 journeyman save where I can only manage teams that I've seen play live or have been to their stadiums. We're back a little bit earlier than I promised at the end of the last episode. Let's go and find out why. In fact, since we were together last for that Man United game where we pinched a one-all draw against all odds, we've only played one game. We went up to Aston Villa and got beat 3-2. Took the lead through Aaron Akeda. They came back, actually took the lead themselves. We pulled it back with an Akeda penalty. But unfortunately, we let in a goal with 12 minutes to go and couldn't find another way back into the game. Next game up is Southampton, but that's not why we're here. As you can see, I am in receipt of a job offer. Uh, now, you know, I'm not allowed to apply for any jobs in the country that I'm working in. There have been some good jobs come up in the Premier League this season. Uh, Tottenham, Southampton even. Um, not that I'd really want to go and work for them, of course. Um, but obviously I couldn't apply for any of them because I was already working for Luton. Then this job came up. FC Köln in Germany. It's quite an interesting looking project. Um, but we're going to take a little bit of a comparison between the two teams and the two contracts, etc. And that'll let you know why I'm going to make the decision I am going to make. So you can see here the approach from Cologne, uh, £26,500 a week. That's not bad. At Luton, I'm on £10,000 a week. So that's a bit of an upgrade. The transfer budget they are offering, £19 million. Doesn't sound huge, does it? But compared to the £1.5 we have in the kitty here at Luton, that's quite a substantial upgrade. And the wage budget, 1.3 million a week. Uh, Luton, ours is just over 500k, and that's after I've been jiggling numbers around left, right, and centre. So, on the face of it, it's a no-brainer. Um, we have to try and avoid relegation this season, which kind of suggests to you why they're without a manager currently, uh, and reach the quarter-final of the DFB Pokal, which is the, uh, the German Cup. Uh, so I haven't seen how they're getting on in that competition. Uh, but we'll take, a, like I say, a little comparison between the two clubs and work out what we're going to do. Here's the club info screen for Köln. And you can see here their estimated value, almost £400 million. Uh, an ambitious personality and style in the squad, which is good. Uh, the training facilities and youth facilities are both great. Four-star reputation, which is nice. And five-star finances, which is uh, always a bonus. You can see they were predicted to finish 12th in the league, and they're currently 16th. If we take a look at the Bundesliga here, you can see Mainz and Werder Bremen are below them. The bottom two automatically get relegated. The third bottom team go into a playoff against a team from the division below. Uh, fairly close between Köln and Schalke here. And the, up here, they're not too far away, but it is a bit of a gap. So there's certainly a challenge on, and of course, if we were to come here, we'd be outside of the transfer window, so we'd have to work with exactly what we've got in terms of the squad. Now, if we take a look at their squad, it's not bad, but I don't think it's great. So there are some great players in here. Jerome Onguene, for example, 28-year-old Cameroonian international centre-half. He looks really solid. Look at the physicals on this man. He's an absolute beast. Really good mentals and solid, solid technicals for his position. Dennis Mann is a player a lot of people try and uh, pick up along the way, quite cheap uh, uh, on occasions. But um, yeah, he's not a bad looking wide player. Can even play up front if you need him to. Uh, Robert Skov, a Danish uh, either left back or right winger, which is a little bit odd. <laughs> but he looks a great player lots and lots of good solid numbers here so i think it, you know their star players are certainly decent who have we got here Thielman as a pressing forward looks good good stamina pace like the look of him uh, in goal they have burnt leno of course who uh, we all know from arsenal he's just moved there at the age of 33 obviously a good solid goalkeeper option so i think the actual first 11 is not bad, but they are aging a little bit. So if you have a look at the ages here, there's a lot of players in their late 20s, early 30s. So the squad probably needs a bit of an overhaul. 
And there are some players who are definitely on money that they don't deserve right now. Uh, if we take a look at the contracts, you can see here, for example, Jonas Hector is on 52 grand a week, 35 year old, probably not even going to get anywhere near the team there. Uh, who else have we got? 72 grand a week here for Kevin Sturger. Probably not the first team player, I would, I would imagine. Yeah, he's been coming off the bench most of the season. So there are some players obviously were um, given big contracts when they were in their pomp. And uh, yeah, still just hanging around at the club. Yeah, Demir Bay. Demir Bay, Demir Bay, who knows. Um, but he's on 91 grand a week. Uh, his physicals really don't look anything special. He's 32 years old, so they're going to decline. And he's got a contract for another two seasons. So that, that could be a bit of a problem if we go there. So it's not a squad without its problems, but I think there's a, a fairly good spine, a good base to work with if we, uh, if we do decide to make the trip to Germany. And let's compare all of that with Luton Town, where we are currently. So training and youth facilities, three and a half star. Well, that's exactly the same. Estimated value, 141 million. Well, that's about 250 million less than Köln is. It's a three-star reputation compared to four-star. Finance is four-star compared to five-star. So it's lacking a little bit here. Um, yeah, I think the uh, the stadium at um, at Köln is a 50,000-seater stadium, the Rhein-Energie-Stadion, um, which I would imagine they get packed out pretty much most weeks. Luton's new stadium, just under 16,000. Obviously, there's a bit of potential to expand that, but not really the money in the club to do it. Taking a look at the squad. So this is a squad that, you know, that we've built pretty carefully over the last 18 months with the club or so. Um, some good players in amongst it. Players I'm really happy to have around. Hickey is good. Cometio, Tyler Roberts I really like. Uh, Likun, I think, has got loads of potential. So... Obviously, it's a much younger squad. We, we've focused very much on bringing in young players. Now, of course, if we went to uh, to Köln, there's every chance we could dip into Luton and, and pinch one of them, maybe two, if uh, if the money was right on the deal. Um, but I have to say, Köln looks like a stronger squad overall, doesn't it, on paper? Not so much potential, but for right now, probably a better option. So I guess the question is, do I want to leave what? looks like a decent mid-table kind of position in the Premier League um, whether that's sustainable long term or not I don't know and do I want to leave that and up sticks to Germany and go straight into a relegation battle outside of a transfer window I've just got to work with what I've got until the summer at least hmm. it's a tricky one isn't it on the when you put it in those terms but I think overall given the, the stature of the club given the contract that's on offer and potentially the finances I imagine we can probably Get a little bit more in if uh, if we stay up in the Bundesliga. Also, it gives me a chance to build my reputation a little bit more there and apply back for better jobs in the UK in a, a year or two's time. So like the jobs like the Tottenham job that came up, well, I'd be able to apply for that because I'd be working in Germany. So I think, much as it pains me to do it, it's going to be time to say goodbye to Luton. Here's the contract that is on offer. So, like we said, 26,500 a week. It's a two and a half year deal. Obviously, it's up to the end of the, the season of 2028. They want to put a 40% top division relegation drop in there. Well, we'll try and negotiate that down a little bit. And maybe we can push that up a little bit. We'll have a little go. It's very, very hard to, uh, to negotiate contracts in this game. Um, but we'll give it a go. Maybe we can just get another 500 quid a week out of them. There we are. So they're happy with a 30% relegation drop and a £27,000 a week wage. I think that's not unfair. Hopefully we won't be having to see uh, <laughs> the relegation wage drop kick in. I think my mind is made up. And we're off to Germany. And so the deed is done. Here I am at FC Köln. Uh, I've brought uh, Mark Bowen with me. I've beaten Mark Van Bommel to the job, which isn't too bad. Luton get a million pound in compensation for me, which uh, I suppose they won't be too unhappy with. As you can see, it's a club with a bit of history. Three Bundesliga titles, not very recently, admittedly. Three German Cup titles, the last in 1983. 
They did win the Bundesliga 2 more recently, but unfortunately all that means is they dropped out of the top flight. So uh, not too much to be proud of there. Uh, this is what they're suggesting as a potential lineup with the squad. That's the kind of formation I like to play, so that's a, a possibility. We'll, uh, we'll see about that when I get a bit more of a deep dive into the club. They want us to make the most of set pieces and play, play high-tempo pressing football. Well, I've not been too great on <laughs> making the most of set pieces so far, but the, uh, the high-tempo pressing football should be all right. Work within the wage budget, avoid relegation. I think that's all doable. Well, that's it for this episode. No live com today, of course. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of time to get to know the club. We do have a game coming up in just a couple of days against a Bayer Leverkusen, which will be the focus of the first episode here with Köln. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I think it was uh, the right decision to make. If you have enjoyed it, please drop a like on there for me. And if you've got any comments about the decision I've made here or the series as a whole, I'd love to see them in the comments section below. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, Come and hop on the Greeno bus. We're setting out for Cologne. It just remains for me to thank you for watching. And I will see you soon for some more Greeno tour action here in Germany. Bye for now.